Hello, and welcome to the context video of the disturbance video that I have made out of random. Also, I have to use this every now and again. Not because I can't breathe, but because it helps with bronchitis. Alright. Alright. The only reason why I made this video was to test my capabilities as a content creator. I put... I tried to make... I purposely made it difficult for me to try and edit this. And I will admit, it was very difficult to edit. I learned some new t new tricks to... For editing, that I might implement in my future videos. And, uh... I also found out that I could also create seamless transitions. What I mean by this, because I'm not sure how many of you notice this, but in the actual video itself, if you look over here where the switch is after I came downstairs, you notice that the light suddenly cuts off. I moved that video to the right, because from there, and when the lights turned on, I was standing in two different positions. So I had to do that to make it seem smooth. And the fact, and Judging by how smooth it turned out, it made it very... It made it uh, not as noticeable as it would have if I left it alone. So that's one thing I learned. But now you're gonna see it every time you watch it now, because I pointed it out. But still, it was... It was pretty... This was... Overall, this video was not was really fun to make. I also tested the uh, my cameras to their limits to see how they do in low lighting situations. As you can see from this scene, I decided to take out my 1898 camera and use that. No. It was my phone's camera. Up and everything from the hall to the end was through my phone's camera. And the reason why it looks so bad and, and terrible lighting is because this thing, highest resolution re it can record for video, is 1280 by 720. And thanks to the slow mo guys, I learned that the lower the resolution is on a camera, the less light it picks up. So if I had, so I think if I brought my 1920 by 1080 camera down here, which is the one I'm using right now, it probably would have dealt with dealt with the lighting a bit better because its lens is wider. So in conclusion, I need a new camera, one that can record in a higher frame rate than 30 and one that's able to have less noise into it and have higher quality. So yeah, by the way, if you have any theories about what this video, about the about the disturbance video is, feel free to leave them down in the comments of that video, or this video, whatever, but still. I left it right there for you guys to come up with theories about, and to test my editing capability and my the limitations of my equipment. Now the microphone, in the room, it was through this microphone, the one I'm currently using. The rest was through this this phone's microphone. And I've demonstrated in the past that this thing's microphone is very high quality for a phone. At least in my opinion. But I was gonna use my um, OTG cable and have the mic connected to the phone, but for some reason it wasn't working. The, the red light on the microphone would turn on, then it would flash and then turn off. So I don't know what the heck happened, but my phone has updated a lot since I last used it, so either there's something to do with the hardware inside the phone, or my OTG cable's broken, because as you can tell, it is a bit twisted. It is a bit twisted, so that was a slight disappointment, but I also managed to make the audio really smooth, like you notice there was no cutting, because I thought it would be smoother to have the video cut suddenly, but have the audio, um, crossfade to the next audio the portion of the video and that worked out really well I'm gonna be using that from now on because it's to me it's, it's a lot smoother I knew there's a crossfade for video but I still I think cutting is more is better because it um because it makes the video seem like it's going by quicker so I can imagine every time I cut and there's crossfade it kind of gives it a little slower um, feel to the video so that's why I didn't do that, so. Also, bloopers and behind the scenes. I have that video already rendered, I just need to upload it. So, you have something to look forward to. Uh, however, I will tell you that um, they're, they're not as funny as, as the Sarah's missing bloopers. I can tell you that, but. 
their, uh, their bloopers behind the scenes all in one video, so. Also, the this scene where I flipped my switch and it turned off, I mean, it, it didn't turn on the light, was actually very simple for me to do. Because there was, there was no cutting away from that. My lamp over here, right here, has its own switch. And it's connected to the switch, to the to the switch on the wall. So, I had this off. And then I just, all I had to do was flip the other switch over there and it didn't turn on. That's how I was able to pull that off. So, yeah. That was, that's what I did. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And I hope to see you in the next video. And I am feeling a lot better since the last video I made. So, see you in the next one.